guys, what is up? It's Todd here today. I'm going to be doing a little bit of my Hardcore Iron Man account and um, basically what I want to do is kind of change the series up a little bit. Um, I didn't really think about how much work um, uh, the Taskmaster I mean, would actually come into. When I sort of originally made the introduction to the series, I was like, yeah, Taskmaster, that doesn't sound too hard. And then I looked at the requirements and um, to be honest, I haven't even done it on my main account, let alone on this account. Um, so I think it is, it's going to be a lot harder than I originally first planned. So what I want to do um, is this This is going to be a pretty short video, so I do apologize. Um, but I want to kind of change it into something a little bit different, something a little bit easier, maybe a bit more of an achievable goal. Um, possibly something like um, maybe just get the QBD pet or maybe even 500 chests from QBD because I think that would be quite fun to do. And also it would allow me to sort of teach you guys a little bit about QBD and a few techniques and tactics that you should do. Obviously being a hardcore Iron Man, I could only dive really once. So what I'm thinking is up until the point that I am prepping my account ready to get to go to go there, sorry. Um, I'll keep it as a hardcore Iron Man, and then what I'll do is I'll drink my div jar of divine light and become an Iron Man once I am ready to go QBD. Because there's always a real good chance that you will die at QBD. So obviously on a hardcore Iron Man, it's going to be even more because of the gear that I'm going to be taking. It's probably going to be not as good as um, some of you guys possibly would like it to be. But I thought this would be a better direction for the series itself. Um, obviously, I haven't really played it at all, and I've been really focused on getting the max cape. And um, I think that's uh, the kind of way I'm going to continue to go, um, unless I can do something really AFK on my max cape and on this at the same time. Um, but the stats haven't really changed. I'll just zoom into those for you guys. Um, I'll just get it into the normal view. I really hate it when it's in that view. I can't and I can't really like read it properly or it doesn't feel right to read it anyway um but yeah 45 attack 42 strength 48 defense 37 range 45 prayer 55 magic 68 rune crafting 18 construction 22 dungeoneering 48 constitution 22 agility 20 herb law 17 thieving uh 37 crafting 14 fletching 42 slayer 14 hunting uh hunter sorry uh 27 divination uh thir 31 mining 32 smithing 49 smith fishing, 50 cooking, 55 fire making, 55 wood cutting, 26 farming, and finally 18 summoning. So what am I going to need to do this? Personally, I'm going to obviously need to get my summoning up to around about 60, I think is the mark when you can get into the dungeon. I also want to get my smith into 70. I think that'd probably be a good idea to sort of do just because of the fact that like um then at least i can make myself a royal crossbow if it's going to be of any use to me i also would like to get 85 uh 85 herb law that's going to be quite a task in itself so obviously a lot of uh daily challenges and that sort of stuff will have to be done for that but it will be interesting to see how i get that up and then obviously i want some decent stats i'm probably going to focus on range uh and then go for the ritual the Majorette quest and then probably go for dragon bane bolt and that will be my technique to doing it um just because i find that's probably going to be the easiest way for a iron man account to actually do it so i don't know what mining level that re inquire re requires sorry but next episode what we'll start to do is we'll start to go through some of those requirements and obviously um get together some stuff ready to go to and, and do a bit of slayer maybe a bit of combat training but let me know guys what you think about the change in this series i'd love to know your opinions because at the end of the day this is to entertain you guys so personally i would have thought the task mask mask after a while would have been like oh this it's not really going anywhere to be honest it's quite hard to do so i thought this would be a better route or maybe if you've got a different idea maybe you want me to go and get the band off pet or something like that it's up to you guys let me know down below and obviously as always guys leave a like and i'll be sure to see you in the next video have a great day whatever you're doing and happy runescaping as always